Dear Alan and friends, I'm sorry I can't be with you tonight in person, but I did want to say a few things. I remember back in the 1970s when I was showing films at San Francisco State and you were showing films in the UC Berkeley campus. I think your parents uh, thought you were studying, but you were studying a different subject than they expected. And then you took over the warehouse on Gilman Street and turned it into the Rialto Theater. First one screen, and then you added a second, and eventually four screens. The theater was famous for being able to hear four movies for the price of one. And even though it wasn't yet legal, you were certain to get a contact high. I always wondered why you didn't name the snack bar the Munchies Bar. And then you took over the Four Star in San Francisco. The distributors would not take you seriously, no matter what you did, until one day when you showed up in the offices of United Artist Pictures in New York with a lawyer and came home with the first run engagement of La Caja Full. That started an expansion with theaters like The Bridge and The York, um, on the peninsula and in the East Bay, and the Grand Lake. Now you had always salvaged fixtures from old movie theaters to create an ambiance of a movie palace in your theaters. But with the Grand Lake, you had a true palace, a beautiful theater, but again one that was not taken seriously by the distributors. So you went to them again, lawyers on your side, and came back with bookings of first run blockbusters that put the Grand Lake truly on the map again. When you decided to twin the theater, you made sure that the upstairs and the downstairs each had giant screens and have always had state-of-the-art sound. And then you added two theaters in the storefronts next door, but they're not just any theaters. They're mini movie palaces with balconies and twinkling lights in the ceiling, similar to what you did when you built the Shattuck in Berkeley from the ground up. With the Grand Lake, it is a locally owned movie palace, operated with pride, clever marketing, and showmanship. You've got dual projector 3D, digital 70 millimeter, 35 millimeter. There's a Wurlitzer organ concert on the weekends. The staff is friendly and there are never commercials. Thank you for that. The bookings are decidedly for all audiences playing to a diverse East Bay population with a mix of blockbusters, locally made films, and a few crossover art films, plus local special events. There's no other theater like it. The admission prices are low, and you have true bargain matinees, plus $5 Tuesdays, and free popcorn on Wednesdays. And then there's the signage. When you took over the theater, you restored the neon and that 3,000 light bulb animated sign on the roof that delights people as they drive by on the freeway. You have a huge marquee, so you can advertise all the films you're playing and make a political statement, which you often do. Recently, you were able to purchase the property. That means you don't have to worry about the lease running out, and I can't wait to see what new things you'll bring to the theater as a result of that. The Grand Lake is my neighborhood theater. I can walk to it. And I join thousands of other people who can't thank you enough. You are truly essential SF, Alan. Congratulations, my friend.